This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to talk about Spoolman, a system for keeping track of your spool and filament inventory. So let's go ahead and get started. For anyone that follows my channel, I have several printers that I use. Also, if I'm being honest, I'm addicted to 3D printing deals and buying cheap rolls of PLA Plus in particular. And I have lots of rolls of filament, but unfortunately, I often lose track of what I have. And for a long time, when I was using Octoprint, I used the Spoolman derived plugin for Octoprint to manage my spools. The problem with that was I could manage the spools on one printer, but then didn't have updates on another printer. So I, I could keep track of one set of spools at a time. And if I used a spool and didn't mark it down on the other printer, it was just a whole big problem. Now Spoolman's developed a web interface that allows you to manage all your spools. And this can be, the same database can be used by all your printers. So today what I'm gonna do is set this up. Now, in some of my older videos, I went through how to set up a print server. And so I'm going to use one of my print servers as the Spoolman server, where I'm going to have my master database of spools. And then I'll tie this into main sale on some of my other printers so we can leverage it. And I'll walk you through the steps. And I'll be honest, it's pretty easy. Now to start off, I've SSH'd into my server. And you can do this on a print server. You can do this on your Raspberry Pi. You can put it on whatever device you normally use. It needs to be Debian based or Ubuntu based. So just keep that in mind. Again, a Raspberry Pi particularly Raspberry Pi 4 should run this, no problem. I believe a 3 or anything that would run Octoprint should be all right. So to get started, just let's look at the directions. And this actually looks pretty easy. All I should need to do is copy these commands. So I've copied the commands. I'm going to go over and paste those into my terminal. And I'll hit Enter. And this is going to ask me for my password. And it's running some updates and doing the installs. As you can see, everything is being installed. And it's moving fairly quickly. This will take a couple of minutes and I'll come right back. Now this does prompt me if I want to install Spoolman as a service, which I do. So I'm gonna hit Y and enter. That has gone ahead and installed everything. And I'm gonna just leave everything as is right now. So let's switch back over to the directions and take a quick look. So let's test if this is up and running. I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna type in my server address and then I'm going to add colon 7912. And there we go. This has opened up my instance of Spoolman. And so I have that running. Before I start with the integrations, let me go ahead and add data to Spoolman so that way I could test it when I install this on other printers. So I can actually see the roles filament. I'm going to start by adding a vendor. And the first vendor I'm going to add is a side of the, and these are, this is a PLA plus. So do these send me filament test? And I've used their PLA plus before and I really, really like it. I've successfully added that. I'm going to go back here. Now let's do red PLA. Plus. And I believe this was $16. They actually sent this to me. Let me get the statistics here. And I'm going to have to look this up because I can't remember it offhand. And then we'll get this filled in. I found this website that shows me the density. So the density of PLA is 1.24. And I'll put the link in the video description. Diameter is 1.75. Weight is 1,000 grams. Spool weight. I'm just going to go with 1,000 again. Extruder temp. I do 205, 65, and let's add in the serial code. And I'll save that. So I have that entered in and go back out to home. I can see it here. Now I'm going to add my first spool. So I'll put, now I'll just use the current time. 
as used, I'm not going to put anything, and I'll just hit save here. Now let's go back out to home. We can see that I have one spool listed, one filament, one vendor. There's the list of the spools. And in order to integrate this into mainsail, which I'm using, I need to put this in the Moonraker config. So let's switch over and take a look at that. So I've opened up my Moonraker config, and then down here at the bottom, I've pasted this code in, and I've added my server, colon, and then the port 7912. And my sync rate is five. So I'm gonna hit save and restart. And we'll come back in a minute and check the integration. Now we need to make a quick change to get this working. I've noticed instead of putting in the name of my server, I actually need to use the IP address. Now, if I go back over to the terminal where I did the install, it actually lists that IP at the end of the install process. So you just copy it from here. You're gonna copy that and then paste it over into your Moonraker config. Save and restart. When you do that, you come over here to Dashboard. Down here at the bottom, you now have a Spoolman section. And I can go in here and select a spool. Again, this is pretty cool. It should let me install this on multiple printers. And that way, I can, again, manage my spools from one database across all my printers running Clipper. As of right now, there is not a plugin to tie into this directly for Octoprint, but there is one for both Mainsail and Fluid. And for right now, I believe I only have one machine that's still running Octoprint and Marlin. And within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to sit down and convert that machine over to Clipper as well. And that way, all my machines will be running the same firmware, and I'll be running either Clipper with Mainsail or Clipper and Fluid. So anyway, if you have any questions, please post them below. I appreciate your time today. Again, this was hopefully a real quick video just to show you a cool tool I've started using. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye. This Bye. is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one-hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me, and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.